Hey, Killer. No cap. <laughs> whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, Fuck whoa. nigga, no cap. cap. Get back, little nigga. Smoke thinking that shit rap. Blew a lot of money, but I made shit back. back. I'm big dog, little bitch. This facts for nigga, no cap. Welcome back, man, to another episode of No Cap. What capping is allowed. But we addressing shit. <laughs> yeah, we addressing every fucking thing. That's as, how we always, as we say. always say, you can do it if you want to. It's up to you, shit. I mean, y'all already know our host, Ball Mr. Six Ring, to my left over here. Yes, sir. Skrill, tell the motherfucking truth, Bush. Funny as hell. <laughs> Ryan here, now you too cool to speak, motherfucker. <laughs> Damn, All right, man. I got a, a nigga that... How long you been over Eastern? All my life. All your life? All my life. Iceman D? How many times you been to the Seville? <laughs> I got my boy Iceman D in the building, man. What's, What's up with you? with you? Good? Yes, sir. You man. know it. Appreciate you inviting us to the shop. Let us come out and put some work in. Man, this nigga been that. over East, too, right? Yeah. I ain't been a long time. time. <laughs> you been over East a long time. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't been over East long like D. G, I ain't made it to him yet. He ain't been over. He ain't been... Long Ryan here like y'all, D. man. What's up, Ryan, man? What's up? <laughs> he ain't been long like D over there. So right now, man, how we end up with the east side sitting on the couch? Because that's how we set it up. Everybody's from the east side. I wanted us to be on the couch. You know what I'm saying? He from Inglewood. I don't know so, where this nigga from right here, man. <laughs> that's this nigga good, from everywhere. See, it's a good thing. Side. Well, you tell us how we ended up on the couch. Because we all from the east side. Okay, that's it then. We from the east side. What's going on, man? How long you been over here at the shop? Been over here? Well, at this shop right here that we in particularly, I've been right here for about... Three hours. <laughs> Dude, three hours. Oh, yeah, you just got so, here? Yeah, I just got here. So it's been about, man, about a month. Been I thought he month. was capping. He said you just put the floors down last yeah. night. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So who all you got um, over here tatting? You? Uh, no, it's just me. I got my boy, Jay Kennedy, and I got, uh, Easy Ink. You say Easy Ink? Yeah, Easy What made you come over east? I know you're from over east, but... Yeah, I had to bring it back home. Why not? Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm from, so you know what I'm saying? I got to get back. I had one to put a store over east, but I'm scared of that shit, because everybody don't want to come over east. Man, you got to make them want to come over east. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Just because, you know what I'm saying, you move out the hood. I'm still that same person, so you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing the difference between over east and down there on 18th Street. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. And why they shit look so good and why I shit don't. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? I want to bring that feel and that flavor back to my neighborhood. Right. You know what I'm saying? We can do the same shit that they doing down there. Yeah, true, true, Pilsen true. Pilsen is a Hispanic neighborhood. Why we can't do that in the black neighborhood? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah it sound good. good. Nah, see what I'm saying? Yeah. He making it good, though. Yeah, you nah. know what I'm saying? You say it sounds good. He is, though. It take, make it but good. it takes a certain person to do it, though. That's what I'm saying. Right. So, yeah. Right, so your, your last good. show was on 18th Street? Yeah. Oh, okay. What was the name of it? Cold as Ice. Okay. Okay. So this is just a... Right. This is Young nigga own the shop next door. Got his own shit. They motherfuckers yeah. own to yeah. something. Definitely. Because we got to bring the east side back. Like, I remember yeah. back in the day, you was having them parties over east. Mm. Man. <laughs> that shit used to be mayhem. Like that's when I first had got up on Ryan Harry because everybody, like, man, we finna go to his party. Mm, yeah, hell, I ain't never been to one. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm like, a party and I'm a party motherfucker. No, you ain't I'm, never catch one of his parties. I ain't never did it, bro. I, his ass wasn't free. I was always gone. I was always <laughs> went to the store. Oh man, dude, you missed a lot of shit. All right, I saw the YouTube footage and shit, but I, you know, I ain't never. Yeah, them parties was cracking, man. What's up? You gonna bring them back? Man, look, you know, it, it take it takes so much more with it now. You know what I mean? Like the over East thing, you know, it was just a, uh, you know, birthday Memorial Day weekend. So, you know, we're going to party, we're going to barbecue. But then, you know what I'm saying? Like being over there on 67th, it's like shit. It started from just, you know, inviting people over, kicking it, barbecuing until like, man, that shit just became something crazy, you know what I mean? To where, you know, like the whole city was support, you know what I mean? Like me, I personally use like, you know what I'm saying, being known and, you know what I'm saying, the popularity to fuel 
you know, what that became was a, it was a unity thing. You know what I mean? We had people from everywhere, every part of the city, you know what I'm saying, who normally wouldn't be around each other. A damn show, you know what I'm saying, wouldn't come over east, you know what I'm saying, over there on that block particular in any other time. But to understand and know what we was doing and to bring all them people together, you know what I'm saying, was like everybody understood it was like a, it was a truce. You know what I'm saying? It was like a, because it definitely was motherfuckers there who was right, on right, shit, right, you, know what saying? Other, right. you know what I'm saying? But right. knowing what it was, like, shit, man, it either be, you know what I mean? It, it's, shit, there's too many women here for y'all niggas to be mad. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, it's too much Agreed. of a path to be mad. Everybody that's, got that's it on them. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, shit, it was just, it was always understood that, like, man, that was one thing that it kicked the summer off that everybody from around the city could come to, you know what I'm saying? That, like... Like you said, I'm mean, out shit. Even starting tattooing over east, like motherfuckers wasn't coming over there. Mm-hmm. Niggas like he, he work well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nigga, that's where I live at. Shit, <laughs> nigga, six, seven degrees. And I say, like, what the fuck, he, you know, like, how we go come over there and get a tattoo? Like nigga, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the hood. So, but normally motherfucker wouldn't come over there. But for motherfuckers to be able to come over there and get tattooed, I understand that's where you know I was. I was already doing the barbecues and shit to where it became like. You know what I mean? It used to be like three, four thousand people out there, dog. Like man, I call, yeah. I call charges out there on that motherfucking air thing. So, do you think we could do that shit today in Chicago? You gotta realize we from a different era, man. So like, like I said back then, shit, we be out there. Everybody got it on them. No, but yeah, we knew what we, you know what I'm saying? Like it was a damn, it was a peace joint. I think we can now, do it. It had to just be in a different area. Yeah, that's all. He's talking he talk about can we do that again? Like yeah, that? Like, like, not like, like no, now? Like no, not that's why I'm saying seven, do it right again. Now like, see seven right there. Now right now. Right there. I had to do it what I originally uh, <laughs> planned on doing. That was like you know taking it to like Union Park. You know what I'm saying? Having it gated off, paying for all that, paying for security, paying for all this because somebody got killed after my last one. You know what I'm saying? And he wasn't even he wasn't even on shit. You know what I'm saying? He was a, a vet. He came with somebody else just to come in because a motherfucker thought they knew somebody from somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? They end up running on him, you know, and shooting him in front of everybody. These motherfuckers who ain't never seen no shit like that before. So, you know, I fucking caught a manslaughter charge on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Reckless endangerment, all kind of shit. When I was already trying to go and take it out of the hood because I'm like... We ain't had shit happen in eight years, but like, man, this shit just ain't it. Right. Couldn't get the licenses and shit, so I'm like, let me have it here one more time. Hope somebody end up getting killed who ain't even part of no street shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, that was a sad. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, you know, you gotta end up elevating, like, yeah, we can grow, we can do all this shit. You gotta but look, put some structure to this. Yeah, you know, I was asking for the police to help. They wouldn't help a nigga, but they were sitting two blocks over waiting to shut that shit down. Tough. End up locking niggas up. Chicago. So like, man, you gotta do it your way. And, you know, pay the damn city for their damn permits and get them gates and then, you know what I'm saying, charge as a dough and shit like that. Like, all that, trying to stay on the same wave of what you was on, that shit ended up fuck you over. Yeah. Um, did you ever expect it to get that big? Nah, I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we was just kicking it in the, in the back and then it was always about, you know what I'm saying, pay a couple couple hundred to be a couple thousand and buy some food to everybody come, everybody come. And this is... In the earlier stages of Facebook, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, everybody hearing about it, everybody coming, people, you get to visually see it from pictures and then people seeing what it was the previous year, hearing about it, talking about it, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't just no club, it wasn't this, you know what I'm saying? It really be out there, you know what I'm saying? And it be in a part of the city where people didn't understand why it was so, you know, it was still so good and it was, you know, it's a fucked up part, you know, year round so uh, to have that that shit made it grow every fucking time you know what I mean and I never expected it to grow with it be but it ended up being you know something bigger because like, I had shorties out there who would never leave that fucking block unfortunately you know what I'm saying but to have you know people from the Bulls come and be out there you get to actually see them you know in person in your hood you know what I'm saying people from the Bears they, these niggas over here in your hood and you get to see them and get an autograph or chop it up with them or shake their hand and they just over here kicking it and some shit that you know like you know how we do motherfuckers come to our city like shit we welcome them mm-hmm. in we take them around how we got to shit so this is part of the shit that you know what I'm saying they was welcome into you know what I mean so to be able to have something like that you know all types of people basketball football you know what I'm saying actors motherfucking rappers and shit People to know that shit and just to come and then come with any and everybody because it wasn't it wasn't like it was just me. It came from shit. If I know D coming and then D mm-hmm. gonna tell his people shit mm-hmm. and D come, you show up with his people is love. Mm-hmm. I tell you, you come up with your people is love and whoever you know is love. So, you know, it wasn't never just about me. It was just about my connectivity through the city and then who they bring. It ain't like I knew each and everybody personally. You know what I'm saying? Right. But for the, to have that respect and the love of the city. Is what made that shit. Shit, that's what make everything we got thrive. Yeah. Really, it do, it do, it do, man. We need them type of events. 
Like really to come back But Right you remember South Chicago What oh, no. Hey look no, That's, that's like what I'm thinking about. South Chicago South by, Chicago by Gold, Gold, Gold Blast parking yeah, lot yeah, yeah. Gold Blast What was that When first kicked off though Ugh. Gold Blast? Yeah. You remember yeah, when it first Gold, yeah, Gold Blast, Blast, right there yeah. on 76, running Stony Island. Oh, yeah. First yeah, they started yeah, Gold yeah, Blast, yeah, yeah, then yeah, they yeah. lined it up on Stony Island. Yeah, they down to South yeah, Chicago. Yeah. And then it's about then they shut that shit down. White it all they started down Saturday night. It all started with the Bulls. Yeah. When the Bulls won. Hey, Ryan, was it a meaning behind your party? The Bulls won, man. We won that first championship. No, it was just my B day. And then, you know, having people come fuck with a nigga. But when it started becoming like. Some respected shit in the city You know what I'm saying Then it was just about uniting You know it's like man This motherfucker's here who At war Literally You know what I'm saying But like I go holler at the big homies From over there mm -hmm. And sometimes we had to Holler at niggas from other places And shit To make sure shit was straight yeah. You know what I'm saying And that right there to That's be gangsta People to be able to see that shit And know like man It's the lords over here All these niggas from out west over here Like Knowing where they at And shit like that And the niggas could even be into it Or you know what I'm saying We literally be Over there in the mall At war with some niggas from over here, you yeah. know what I mean? But like, ain't no shooting today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that was, that's that was gangsta a big for ass real. thing. Hey, hey what y'all do yesterday? It was 80 degrees yesterday. Boss. I was just reading the fucking, um, this little article, and it said that a uh, Chicago dispatcher said that Chicago was off the fucking chain. I seen so many motherfuckers getting shot yesterday, bro. I was with my kids playing ball. Man, that's what they said, man. They said every three seconds somebody called in and said they I stayed shot. out the way yesterday. I stayed, I stayed out the way like a barbecue for me and my babies. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I did. I was in the backyard. I stayed out the way yesterday. Yeah, that's it. Damn. Yeah. It might be right. I had my kids and we was, we was hooping, man. That's it. Yeah. It's kind of like once you hit a certain age, we ain't... Right, like it ain't like it used to be. You know, we'd jump in the car, ride around some Remy or something, hit all types Spend of. On people like, you can't even do that type of shit it no like more now. Shorties now, they don't even want. It, you know what I'm saying? It, they not doing it to like. You know what I'm saying? Get this money off this block or none of that shit like that. They mm -hmm. doing it for body counts. They doing it for counts. So you know. For what real what though. They don't give a fuck about. Yeah, they in too deep. Right they deep. really yeah. in the game. Form of mind. Mm -hmm. like, like definitely in too deep. Right now. We from the structure era. They in the gang yeah, they era. In the gang era. They, they really living out this motherfucking uh, Grand Theft Auto, bro. They are though. They really living it out to the fullest. <laughs> that shit in a stolen car, boy. Hop out that yeah, one, bro. Hop that one, accuracy boy. so for off, real. Boy, and hop in another one Damn. until they get caught. They boy. is though, bro. You think they bullshitting, boy? <laughs> Damn, man. And then come talk about how many they didn't shot up, boy. And woo, woo, woo. Let me go look at the news. Yeah, so my man. House can go up. Well, yeah. That's what they really out here. That's the thing, and that's what Niggas they doing. Wanna, so to do a hummy and looking at the news. Frame. Like right. these people know what they doing out here, man. They got these kids sitting there for two years. They've been sitting there, boy, mm -hmm. programming their mind. Like what? This shit ain't nothing. Yeah, man. I'm sitting here playing this. I'm finna go out here and do this. Once they, they open nah, up. for real. Once they open up, I'm finna go out here and do this. So that's what I'm saying. We got to reprogram our kids' mind. Them games making them shorties mentally ill, bro. I be always telling motherfuckers, like, certain, grown it's just certain shit, it, it works. Because adults, shorties, adults follow grown, shit. That's what marketing and promo, adults follow trends. So a kid following a trend is light work. Man, that's light work. Put it in the game. Gonna so what's put it in the game. really going on with this? Like, like, why the kids just so out of control? Why nobody ain't listening to the big homies? Even when you got big homies like such as us, like, it really go in one ear and out the other. Big other homies end. been left the shorties alone. With yeah, them, telling them to get up gotta, off the block. We gotta define what is a big homie. Get up off the block. Ain't no big homies no more. Right. Nah, define, every right. man do for that, himself. Do that for man. me. Like, define what, what what is a big homie nowadays. I don't know, cause it ain't one. No more. Yeah, you know, it's this different type of big homies though. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you gotta think. Like I said, with the structure being gone and leaving, you know what I mean? Like, we from an era where, you know, we knew we had to go to sessions, you know what I'm saying? We had to pay dues, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we man. knew we'd get, you know what I'm saying, violated if it was this or something like that. Yeah. So understanding that. If we didn't like, go to school, we'd be in trouble. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so, that, so we're knowing, like, now that the, uh, that the shorties don't got none of that, they, like I said, I'm, to, to know that, uh, you know what I mean? Like, back when I first was listening to the uh, the Chief Keefs and then, you know, seeing when the drill music was coming around and then to hear, like, you know what I'm saying, that the BDs and the GDs was beefing, like, to me, that was, like, irate. Like, what the fuck mm. are y'all talking about? You yeah. Know what I'm and it made me understand more further, like, all right, man, y'all don't even understand the structure behind, you know what I'm saying, us knowing our literature and even knowing your literature, what you would have to say. And if you would say that, you couldn't even be 
beefing with the niggas that you beefing with. Right, you know what I mean? But right. since you don't know it, all y'all doing is game banging doing without any structure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And realize you're just going to go against whoever. So when you lose any of that structure, it's just like, who the fuck are we trying to uh, ride up under? Or what big homies? Or who, right. who running what block? Like, nigga, we from this block that we don't own, no real estate owner, no nothing, but we from here and I'm going to die for these niggas. And the next block... Whoever they 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 the got very next don't give block. a fuck about and we'll get at. So if they the GDs to the BDs for them niggas, like I said, hearing that shit that the GDs and BDs was beefing, was that 12, 13 years ago? Mm-hmm. I'm like, what's y- how the fuck is y'all really, really beefing like that? Like we be into it or something, but like, mm-hmm. like, like y'all really beefing. Have you them? ever said your motherfucking literature before? Have you read it before? Yeah, right. <laughs> but they right. haven't. So you know what I'm saying? They don't need so no they don't, about. Sure. they don't. It's like, man, we just don't give up, we don't give a fuck about that. I had never yeah. heard no GDK shit like that. Like or BDK different now. Ain't yeah. no structure But what I was saying man. Is because I've hollered at A lot of them Little shorties That's you know In their 20s When they uh, You know Still in their late teens And it ain't the fact That like us being The big homies Game wise Like they still Want money They still All like right. the dress so You know what I'm saying They still want to look coming. good On social media But you know what I mean They don't know No other way Than the shit they got And I'm hollering At some of them and talking to them about, you know what I'm saying, investing in money or, you know, real estate or what you could do with the shit rather than just going and buying designer and shit like that. And they ain't never heard that shit before. Mm, so yeah. from that, you know what I mean, I got shorties who be looking like, man, how the fuck you know that shit? And mm-hmm. like, where you learn that shit from? You know what I mean? I'm like, nigga, read or, or just listen to somebody outside of, yeah, you still at war, you still got shit going on, but they ain't just fucking dumb and they don't not want to hear it. It's just yeah. that motherfucker got to want to put Agreed. that shit into them. Like Agree. For example, my man got damn it right next door to me, right? Here. Mm-hmm. He got a smoke shop. He black? Yeah, yeah the young fool that was just in here. That was taking all the Instagrams. That's his shop. Young too. Right from over Throwing there. Throwing out on a black t shirt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what's up right there. Perfect I was example. sleeping on that. I got I definitely gotta go but over there. We definitely gotta still gotta, you know what I'm saying? Reach back to these shorties and let them know it's a different way. But the only way we're gonna get their attention is you gotta show them it's money on the side. I feel like they know that it's money because oh, I do too. They got the only lie. game that you can take no money and wake up in the morning with fifty thousand dollars. That didn't happen when I grew up. Is no, that the scam game? But ain't that yeah. shit like a hit and miss? Yeah, but no, see, they got that. Just they don't know what the fuck to what do, to with, do it. with it afterward. But yeah, once they that's get the true money, too. it's like they really don't want to listen. That's what I'm saying. Because right. if you ain't, oh, I got a hundred thousand right now, nigga. You ain't even got five thousand. You trying to tell me what to do? That's kind of like they mentality. Once they get the money, they feel like. They the shit. And I ain't then when it's gone, they back in your face like, yeah. hey, hey, hey. You yeah. Know, see what I'm saying? Because they got the money and don't know what to do with it. See what I'm saying? But we got to, that's what we fell off at as far as giving them structure. The reprogramming. Yeah, right. we got to reprogram them. Right, so the like, definition hey. of a big homie is it a motherfucker just with money or do it take a certain experience and intelligence? No, it takes the experience, intelligence, you know and the I, patience I think, to I think that's what do it. Connect, it's like, different kind of big homies. With money you said it. That's my big homie, but he ain't teaching you. You gotta shit. show him how you got right. that chain right. and that true. money and all that shit. Right. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You gotta make them understand, like, man, this is how I did this, shorty. I can show you how I did this. And mm-hmm. then a lot of times. Some of them don't wanna listen, some of them do, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But a lot of niggas in the neighborhoods you. that they be listening to, like, really like the muscle. It's a difference between the brain and the muscle. Right. So you got a motherfucker that. All he do is protect people and really follow other people. Then you got another shorty looking up to him. Mm-hmm. He don't even know how to lead. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That's really what's going on in the neighborhood is shooters fucking with shooters. It's you know what I'm saying? A lot of followers. A lot of followers. There's a lot of followers. And grown ass men that's followers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like they follow the shorty because they scattered followers. the shorty. It's followers. You know what I'm saying? They know the shorty gonna up that Yeah, yeah followers are they followers. They take their ass down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they are. Followers are followers. Followers are followers. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, Ryan, what made you hit the gym, man? Shit. Uh, you got tired of being a buck 60? <laughs> no, nah, I would. You know what? I actually, shit, if you seen that, I had got fat in the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> A little after bit, like, I saw a little bit. But. After like a breakup and shit, so it was like, you know what? You know, that, that breakups build bodybuilders, so we was like, fuck it, man. Let's just, you, did like the you know moves. what I'm saying? We like, we gonna see what we could push this body to be to a level that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's you could you could motherfucker buy clothes, you could do this. Like, you gotta work for a motherfucking health. Mm-hmm. True. You know what I'm saying? So, and understand the athletes, like, nigga, you could train yourself to fucking jump eight feet in the fucking air. You know what I mean? So the body is something that could be 
you know, trained to be immaculate. So why the hell wouldn't so, you see how far you could push yourself? You know what I'm saying? Some nigga ain't. You had to get your bedroom you body together. Well, I mean, shit after a breakup, it's like, fuck it then. All right, well, right. Yeah, <laughs> let me see. Right, right. It was what? I get on here and get my shit. bedroom. Yeah. Wait, you got fat because of the breakup, though? Like, yeah, you leave, just sad and oh, shit? Oh, like, just shit. sad and shit? That's yeah, funny. Yeah, I got put out shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a little loot. Oh, real life came at you. Real life. Okay. I always hear people say that they just start eating and shit like that. Or they don't eat like yeah. I have been through breakups and she just said I was retarded because I still was sleeping, still was eating, but I was hurt. I did find myself drinking a lot. Yeah, see, everybody, so everybody hurt differently. Hurt. Did. Everybody hurt differently. I was, was drinking Pimps and Remy to go fucking to sleep. Yeah, I see, eat, same you know, shit. No goddamn way. My shit was the liquor you know. and the. So you, were, you right. said if you would said you would eat. You would. Yeah, I eat it like a motherfucker. <laughs> I can't gain no weight. So. <laughs> my, metabolism, my metabolism is a motherfucker. So. Oh, oh, never. Oh, you ain't I fucking ain't. around with the gym? Who? You. No, I ain't did a check. I might get in that bitch. <laughs> no, Diaz was, he yeah. was lifting like barbells and shit, uh, dumbbells and shit. <laughs> yeah, little shit. Yeah, he sit around and get some. No, nah, it'd be them 40s. Diaz, fuck, he know I know because yeah. he got the 40s. Hey, you got to put some weights in the back of this motherfucker because yeah. you got to get business. Business. You're going to be living yeah, in this Yeah, I'm going to be in this bitch living for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just, we just wanted to see what that shit was going to, like, see what level you could push yourself to. Nigga, I started working with. You know the saying? gorilla dude Yeah he uh, he was actually Competing this shit So like It was like Nigga ain't nobody Fucking competing But we gonna Work out as hard as we can mm -hmm. To be right next to you When you competing And then along the way You end up meeting Motherfuckers who start Seeing your progress And it's like Damn nigga Y'all can compete too mm -hmm. But like Fuck it then I'm gonna just Keep training And I'm gonna compete You know what I'm saying Like I fell off Along the way But my nigga Don He kept that shit going yeah. And then he competed yeah. You know what I'm saying Right he's he, an actually Bodybuilder Yeah he yeah. competed twice mm -hmm. and, and placed twice You know what I'm saying his, In his first Uh First two competitions Then he just did some shit Niggas never do Especially in their first year He just went pro mm. So he got a pro oh, card That nigga a professional Bodybuilding athlete So they paid yeah. for that shit? Hell yeah Hell yeah Hell it's a yeah. sport. I might get my shit together. Motherfucker get paid. And get paid for it. It's up for grabs. Don't cap bodybuilding. It's up for grabs. Somebody been in the gym now, nah, man. You get paid for anything. Motherfucker get paid for you know, playing man. badminton. Now, a million motherfuckers will come pay you the motherfucking halfway teach them how to look like a, yeah. like a better version of themselves. You You're right. People? Me? Hell no. Shit, I ain't. Train my damn self month. <laughs> I'll be training the females in the gym I'll be like Man Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> Davis training <laughs> Right <laughs> right, lift, right Lift your leg up My neck be working Like a motherfucker In that bitch And <laughs> hey, you know what's scary About the bodybuilding shit Is when they drain The water out their body yeah, right. I mean it's only it's only for the stage look. Like yeah. people be motherfuckers that judge you all day long and be like, that's too many muscles. Or that that's enough. That's <laughs> that enough. is too many muscles. muscles. Like, bitch, that's a, it's a. You say drain the body out the way. The, drain, the purpose the of getting on stage is to show all of the muscles that mm -hmm. you've been working for. So right. to do that, you build all the muscles up. And no, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> you build all them bitches up, and then towards the end, when it's time to get on stage, you got to be able to show them muscles. But that shit definition. raw, though. So you got to, like, fucking... That shit raw. You know, drain the water out by eating the right shit. Like, sometimes all you can eat is fucking rice and some spinach and motherfucking a white fish. You know that what I mean? Because all the protein goes straight to the body, all what? the fat leaving the body. Mm. Then you got to drink two, three gallons of water a day, and you pissing all that shit out, so you're losing all the water weight. So when you drain that motherfucking body out, every muscle, every vein going to be shown just for when you're on stage so you can show every muscle that you've been working for. And after that shit, it go back to regular unless you're about to compete for another joint. But people think you just walk around look like you're on steroids all day long. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's built up for the stage. You know what I'm saying Like the same way You do it, anything You're gonna get your Hell cut for the night Get you building up <laughs> Yeah But I, I've watched it A few times though I think like the shit I be feeling like It is too much But it's raw as fuck Bro it's a real art Like when you see Where they be having Muscles at bro Just a crab yeah. That shit yeah. be having Muscles in places Where you be like that Look at dude big. back I be watching Yeah I, that shit be man. I be watching I didn't watch Bodybuilding For a few years I ain't gonna flex I used to think Get in it Damn oh, Been thinking about Getting in it That's a little Fat Bruce Lee man <laughs> mm. Fuck I, I, I used to think like Six years okay. I can go to the gym For 30 days And I'm finna just cut up Yeah once you start Realizing that shit up. Ain't, nah, Man yeah, that nah. shit Don't work like that Motherfucker be working out Today than be in the Mirror of the night like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was him yeah, yeah, Everybody didn't do I did everybody. that shit After you three weeks it. I'm telling everybody Man you see my shoulders yeah. <laughs> I ain't even worked On my shoulders But I'm like You see my shoulders <laughs> that, I mean that's where It start though It take, it take Four <laughs> weeks for For you just start seeing results and take fucking eight weeks for people you know to see results and 12 weeks for strangers to notice the shit. Mm -hmm. So you eating good? 
Right now? Yeah, or you just Now doing, I am, nah. yeah. I had just, yeah, when uh, you working out. Oh, when I'm training, yeah, yeah. I'm a, a 100% dieting. You know what I mean? And that's because I know what to do now, so like, I ain't finna wait the long time it take to motherfucking start seeing results. Like, you can see results faster if you know what you're doing. It's just a hard, discipline shit. Mm-hmm. Like, if I start tomorrow, I'll tell you, you start tomorrow, like, all right, man, all you're going to eat is six egg whites in the morning and some oatmeal and some goddamn spinach, and then you're going to fucking work out, then you got to drink a gallon and a half of water a day, oh, then you got to only do this, this much, this much, this much, this much <laughs> all day long. You got to do that shit for the next three weeks straight. Your body will change like a motherfucker. Damn. But it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt mentally. Damn. You know what I mean? But you got to know what you're going for, so... Yeah, at first I couldn't seeds, do that. Cause shit. you put some seeds and salt on this shit. That shit sounds funny. <laughs> Barely. God, cause, uh, never... Cause you ain't eating for taste. You eating for yeah, what the yeah, result yeah, is. That's yeah. a good point though. You're not you eating know? for taste. I ain't got that motherfucker discipline yet. <laughs> It's a month. That's why I said. That's why it's a professional sport. Like that's fuck, see. That's why it's professional. Shit yeah. and like not. Like that shit. That shit is mentally draining. You ask they get paid. Yeah, like sixteen yeah, weeks. Yeah, it's yeah. a whole you, fucking. Listen, lifestyle. you ask they get paid. You hear know what they go through? I, I think I am. I think I, I, I am. You sitting over here. Yeah, I'm almost like there. Yeah. Take my arm out. Right? Yeah, I'm I'm the the Look, <laughs> he been going to the gym for nine Check months. Check my arm out. Nine not months. drinking, not none of this shit. I've been drinking tea, okay. but I ain't saw no results. I, he actually. He went from one sixty to one seventy five. I'm like, I don't know what gym you going to, but every time I call. Fitness, he putting man. on the sweat thing. He got the pants on. <laughs> he drove. So fucking. He talking about he putting on the sauna suit. He got the that's, a, that's the uh, first step is getting up, putting that shit on. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. Man. Hey, look, you gotta feel. Yeah. Right, you gotta feel good about your workout outfit. You know. What hey, man? Dave, I always tell him that. But if you look at the pictures, though, he have. He got some results though No flex No cap about it If you look at some I lost like 20 something pounds And then probably Gained it back in muscle So that's way different No he capping Yeah, And we ain't got the button Right there I'm gonna tell you Hey listen So what I gotta gotta do To get my arms Wide and fat You gotta yeah, start Like that no, It's certain body style. types bro You little and swole You yeah, good You gotta eat You gotta do some push ups You gooch You gotta eat You already got You are. You ain't Getting you about swole like that. It's I want to go back to him right quick. Cause <laughs> I ain't got them off the hook. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, no he, didn't, he don't see results, bro. Hey, look, hey, look. He, he stopped wearing them smalls yeah, because I get the no cap shirts, <laughs> right? And he'd be like, "Give me a small." Then I get him a small, <laughs> and then I'm fitting that bitch. No, you thought you was he coming then back you saying, "Give me a L." I got you now. You feel like you lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> the shit, <laughs> bitch, man. He come back get an L. Let me get one of them L's. Hey, look, give me, give me a large. I'm taking this shirt off. In the summertime like, well, don't Summertime don't gonna be over With in five more months bro yeah, You gonna man. be in December it is It's Christmas be. Look You gotta hurry up And get it together <laughs> hey, uh, It's coming though It's coming though I've been putting that work in though Nah you gotta tell your trainer You gotta double up <laughs> Nah ain't nobody training <laughs> He don't got no trainer D Oh you just do it by yourself He don't do Yeah it. The nigga go to the He go to the gym Literally you know he, he got a club And he promote The nigga go to the club To get party goers <laughs> Yeah, that's what he go for. I'm dancing. So he hey, look, sexy. G, he had that with a Louis look, patch look. full of flyers. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, nah, there he is. Ain't lying, though. He ain't lying. Hey, he ain't lying, though. though. That's what you call a win-win situation. <laughs> yeah. All the homies be like, man, I saw your boy in the gym. He just sitting on the bench, <laughs> <laughs> passing out flyers. G, <laughs> saw working Say out. Say he in the gym party for more. Yeah, hate folks. I know guess that's genius, thing. though. He got a hundred dollar membership just to pass out fucking flyers, man. Hey, that's kind of genius. He paid for marketing and promo. No, for Hundo, that's good marketing promo for Hundo. Fuck nigga, no cow. Get battle, nigga, smoke, nigga, that shit.